Behold, the most powerful inverter generator currently available on the market today. This thing's a monster. Let me go over some of the details. It's the Genmax TriFuel GM10500IETC. I swear these guys gotta come up with better names for these generators. How about on gasoline, 10,500 starting watts, 8,500 running watts. Propane, 9,500 starting watts, 8,000 running watts. Natural gas, 8,400 starting watts, 6,800 running watts. This uses an eight millimeter socket. The battery cables are actually already connected to the terminals on the battery. However, <laughs> you do have to connect the quick disconnect in the battery cables to each other. Now, I'm holding my camera in my hand so I can't connect it, but just trust me, these have to go together. And on to the other side of the generator. I'm just gonna slide some cardboard up underneath here in case I make a ginormous mess with the oil. Speaking of oil, let's go with some 10W30 full synthetic. The generator came with this funnel included. Make sure you don't cross thread the dipstick slash cap when reinstalling it. The Gen Max includes an LPG hose, a natural gas hose, and this is the automatic transfer switch cable, which I dearly wish I could use, but unfortunately I can't. It also includes this remote start. This is a natural gas quick connector. If you wanna make your own cords, it comes with a 50 amp plug and a 30 amp twist plug. This is a great idea that I don't think I've seen before. It actually comes with a charger to plug into the battery to maintain the battery on the generator. Spark plug socket and screwdriver. It even includes this luxurious generator rain cover, as well as a bonding plug. All right, let's go over the front panel real quick. Here you've got your display to show you all your information, your main switch, your engine start stop, 12 volt DC cigarette lighter input. Here you have your fuel source. It's at storage right now. We're turning it over to gasoline, natural gas, propane, and back to storage. Here's your gas inlet for your propane or natural gas. It has a quick disconnect or connect on here, or however you want to call it. And you can actually remove that if you want to use the traditional threads. Low idle, off and on. This is your reset breaker for the inverter in the generator. You have your 30 amp twist lock outlet. Remember when I showed you the battery charger earlier? This is where you plug that in to make sure that your battery always stays charged on your generator. Okay, there's an LED light up here at the top that you can turn off and on only when the generator's running. Here's your 120 and 120 240 volt switch. These are your reset breakers for your 120 volt outlets. where you can obviously hook this up to run these in parallel. And that's the reset for the generator. There's your breaker. This is where you plug in your automatic transfer switch. Now you notice here that there's a 50 amp outlet over there. I didn't mention that. I'll talk about that more later. Of course, the generator also has a pull cord and an automatic carbon monoxide detect and shutdown feature. Okay, enough with all the details. Let's go connect this monster and find out if it can power the whole house. I suspect it can, but also I want to tell you what makes this so ideal for my situation to make it the perfect backup generator. Well, I would love to have an automatic transfer switch. Right now we are set up with a generator inlet box and we just have an interlock on our outside panel box here. Listen, I don't proclaim to be any type of electrician, but what I can say is that our generator that I originally intended to use to power the house was a bonded neutral. And you don't wanna have that when you have an interlock. And I honestly, I just found this out myself. Your home already has a bonded neutral, so you don't want a double bonded neutral. You know, people do that all the time. And you know, really, I don't think there's any, there may be a problem with that. I'm not telling you to do it. I'm just saying most people don't pay any attention to that. So if you are using an interlock kit like me, you don't want a bonded neutral. You want a floating neutral like this Gen Max has. I'm just gonna go ahead and connect my propane with the quick connect. And look, I'm never gonna put a drop of gas in this thing, okay? Because I don't want gas to sit in it and it go bad. I've talked about this in my, on my other channel before. That's why I love that this is tri-fuel, even though I'm just gonna use propane for it. Again, I highly recommend you never use gas 
unless you have to. Because I'm not actually powering my whole house. Again, I've explained this in some other videos. I'm powering my mom's part of our house, which is kind of a separate house all to itself. Everything, she has all the appliances. She has a three and a half ton AC unit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the AC off before I turn the main breaker off and turn the generator on. I've got my breakers off. Low idle is off. I'm gonna turn it to propane. Main switch on. All right, engine start, stop, let's go. I'm using the 50 amp outlet with my 50 amp cord because it's convenient and I don't have to use an adapter. However, when you're not using two of these generators in parallel, when you're only using one, that outlet is essentially just a 30 amp outlet, not 50 amps. Very important to remember. All right, let's see. Well, <laughs> we're getting power, the lights are on. Let us turn. Well, I should say everything's on. Refrigerator, obviously we're not using the range right now. Let's turn on the AC. I could hear the generator uh, pull more once I cut that on. And that is blowing cold. The camera makes the screen flicker, but right now there's about a 4,500 watt load on the generator. But I wanna see if I can push it a little bit further. So I'm gonna get my well pump to turn on. I'm just gonna turn this water hose on and let it set here for a little bit. And unfortunately, it's taking forever. So I'm gonna release some water out right here. See if we can speed this up. If you watch my other channel, you know I just replaced this. That's why it's so efficient. I gotta speed it up. Again, it's hard to see, but temporarily it went up to 4,900 watts. I think this is a phenomenal generator. If I had one complaint, it would be, it's a little loud. I don't have a decibel meter, so I can't really say how loud it is. I'll have to look and see how loud Gen Max says it is. You couldn't stand next to it and talk at a normal volume level and carry on a conversation i'll say that definitely not as loud as a traditional open frame generator though if you want to see the cheapest inverter generator you can get check this video out right here and i will see you next time